you very much for joining me here on Old Kings Highway 6A. As we, we meander down the highway, uh, we look at 6A a little differently. Every so often we find a gift shop or a craft shop, which is very, very special. And I happen to be coming down the brickway now to Samuel Day Gallery, which is located right in the heart of Comiquid, which is a little bit of Bonstable, a little bit of Yamatsport. And I'm going to be speaking with the uh, designer, the owner of the Samuel Day Gallery, and Karen Samuel. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Look at the gallery here. This is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, you have many artists. Yes, I represent about, uh, well, over 30 artists now uh, in uh, blown glass, etched glass, all different types of glass, mm -hmm. uh, as well as pottery, woodworking. We have some wonderful artists from all over the Cape, mm -hmm. and uh, we specialize in things that are unique. You don't see um, the types of works that, that we have in every gift shop on the Cape. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about the artists that you have here. Well, uh, one of the artists we have is Michael Cohen, and uh, he does these beautiful tiles uh, in an incredible blue color that he created, and uh, his work is in many museums. Um, we also have work featured by uh, Ingrid and Ken Hansen, and they have uh, beautiful millefiori in them. They make their own, and uh, we love to explain to people how this is done. It's, it's quite fascinating. Um, the next uh, items that we have are uh, by Copperwood, and uh, this gentleman makes these boxes with fused glass tops, and he only makes uh, a certain amount, a finite amount, every year. Oh. And once he sells mm -hmm. out, they're done. Mm -hmm. uh, the next piece would be um, some fused glass by Susan Bradshaw, and they are uh, jellyfish and um, wave uh, Sun catchers, mm -hmm. I guess we would call them. And they are quite beautiful, quite three-dimensional in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes them so special. Uh, we also carry a lot of work by Jill Davis. Uh, she's from uh, uh, Rhode Island, which we consider, you know, the area. Sure. <laughs> and uh, she just came up with some beautiful uh, friendship vases this year that we think are nice. And uh, one of the other things that I'm really excited about is the Museware by Cherie Burlington. Mm -hmm. It's a customizable uh, giftware where she puts, uh, let's say, a bride and groom's name and the date of the wedding, and you can also have uh, the vows or song lyrics or the invitation words custom written in there, and she ships to the uh, gift recipient, so it kind of takes everything yeah. out of your hands. Mm -hmm. Robin Goodfellow uh, is a... Uh, jewelry line that we have that is designed by Robin Satterwaite and Julie Leffler. And Robin was a costume designer. Uh, she's a choreographer in dance, and so her work reflects nature and also the beauty of dance and its delicacy. Uh, I'm also very excited about Lisa Bison's um, work where she takes photographs of words that she's written in the sand and frames them. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also have custom ones made. Deb Brilla makes uh, jewelry that is uh, primarily made from watch parts, but you really can't tell. Uh, it's quite beautiful. And Karen, I must mention while you're talking about your gallery upstairs, of course, uh, if you look at the building, you have to come to the back and follow the brick road. But I'm sure it takes you a long time to walk down that brick road because you have such a nice setting uh, for people to just meander, see some of the, um, the fine crafts that are, that are adorning the, the garden area. Mm -hmm. um, and the giraffe. Now, who actually made this giraffe? Um, that giraffe uh, was made by um, Jim Cole of Yardbirds. He's, uh, the giraffe has been in the yard for, for many years now. Mm -hmm. uh, I love gardening, and I love to share my um, yard with other artists, painters, photographers, or if you even just want to come and, and have a lunch. We have a couple of picnic tables out there. And uh, it's just a fun place to be. We have 27 chickens in the back that were, are very entertaining. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I also have a parrot in my shop that will probably say hello to you when you come in. Yeah. Now, you're, you're an artist yourself, and you oh, have yes. stained, stained glass as well as glass. You yes. work with glass yourself? Yes, I've been working with glass for over 40 years, and um, I do what I call window sculptures now. I take um, 
broken pieces of glass, uh, unwanted pieces of glass, things that glass blowers have deemed uh, seconds. And I smash them up, remelt them, and then reconstruct them into really mm -hmm. interesting things to look at. Yeah. And, uh, and tell me a little bit more about some of the people on the right side of your gallery. Well, um, we have uh, Katie Lease, who does original paintings that I just love. They're very whimsical. They're always of birds. Uh, she calls her work Jean Bird, is uh, her trade name. And uh, I think they're very reasonably priced, and they're beautiful in the home. Michael Gold is one of our local artists who does wood turning as a hobby. And we were very excited to have his work because all of the wood actually comes from Cape Cod. In fact, we have a bowl here that came from a maple tree that was cut down across the street. Um, we also carry fun little pieces by a good friend of mine, Cindy Pasolio. Uh, she calls her work little guys, and we have vacationers and little cape animals and mm -hmm. just, just a little fun remembrance of the cape. Uh, also, Cody Nicely is a new artist this year, and he won the 2012 Niche Award, which in the fine craft world is a really big deal. Um, another artist that we're welcoming back is Michael Eichholt. His blown glass is just absolutely extraordinary, and uh, his prices are wonderful for, for the quality of the work. Next is some of my jewelry, and I do a lot of fused glass jewelry. I not only do uh, stained glass, but uh, I do glass fusing, etching, um, glass blowing. Uh, I've been working with it for so long, and uh, I really love making the jewelry. I have vintage glass bracelets that I've actually used beads that belong to my grandmother. And then the fused glass bracelets, people get really excited about them because they tend to change color with whatever you wear mm -hmm. so that um, they, they go with every outfit. For people who don't know, and of course, if they'd like to see more of the gallery, uh, get onto their website. www.samueldaygallery.com. And there's two L's in Samuel. Another exciting uh, artist that we got in was Jay Brooke Patterson. She uses quail eggs. As a, as a mounting for a vignette. She puts a, a small little vignette inside the quail leg and then stabilizes it with resin so you can wear it as a pendant or as um, uh, just use it as an ornament. And they've been very popular. An artist that we've had for some years that is still very, very popular is Kathy Hudson. She does fused glass and uh, beautiful salad bowls and uh, tableware. Another local artist that we have is John Kennedy, and uh, he's from Orleans, and he does wonderful whimsical wood carvings out of cypress knees. And uh, he's famous for his Santas, but at the beginning of the summer, we started with his fishermen and his penguins, and we'll be featuring the Santas uh, probably later in the summer and early in the fall. Another artist that is from Wellfleet is John Best. He does really incredible uh, stained glass boxes and panels from unusual or antique glass. Uh, his style is very unique, and we're very happy to have him. He and his wife have been friends of mine for many, many years. And next are some beautiful coral bowls by my friend Cheryl Lambert. We actually went to high school together, met again 40 years later, and I was just astounded that she's a glass artist also, and uh, so I'm really happy to have her work. On our top shelf is, um, are some vases by Buzz Blodgett. He is very much inspired by the ocean, and uh, his work is just exquisite. We have uh, paintings by Melissa Avarinos. She uses acrylics and then scratches away the um, um, images, and I just have always been very fascinated by her work, and we're really happy to be representing her in the gallery. One of my uh, favorite new artist is um, Paul Bjork. He makes these gorgeous granite cutting boards. And not only do you have a forever cutting board, but you can warm them up to 200 degrees or chill them in your refrigerator or freezer and use them for hot and cold hors d'oeuvres. So they're um, very, very useful and probably one of my most popular wedding gifts. 
David Bruce makes these birdhouses, and I love his work. It's very whimsical, Dr. Seuss-oriented, and um, I, I'm very whimsical myself. And so we have them hanging in the trees, and they are good for inside and out. A lot of people collect them, and they're just lots of fun. Now, during the, during the high season, you have hours, of course, uh, seven days a week, is it? Um, yes, we're open uh, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., seven days a week. Uh, in the early spring, we do close on Mondays and Tuesdays, but uh, during the high season, we're open all week long. Okay. Well, we have your website on the screen. If anyone would like to see uh, a little bit more of the gallery or contact Karen uh, to maybe find out that you have a specialty gift that maybe you want to pass on and keep it as a heritage. You have the chickens out there. Yes. The people... Do people think you're a farmer, <laughs> you know, in our, is, is this a place that, you know, can I buy some eggs while I'm here? Well, yes, if the girls are producing, you can definitely buy some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a nice visit, and of course, the beautiful gallery that we're at, and you're seeing it, and uh, Kara and I are just going to sit back and uh, swing along here uh, on the lawn and uh, enjoy what it's all about, the Samuel Day Gallery, located at 4039 Route 6A, Route 6A in, Cumaquid. in Cumaquid, Massachusetts, Cape Cod. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, John.